Welcome to County Office, your ultimate guide to local government services and public records. Let's get started. How much do you pay on capital gains? And capital gains tax is a tax on the profit realized from the sale of a non-inventory asset. This asset could be stocks, bonds, precious metals, real estate, or property. The amount you pay depends on several factors. And firstly, the holding period of the asset is crucial. If you hold the asset for more than one year before selling, it is considered a long-term capital gain. Long-term capital gains are generally taxed at a lower rate. And conversely, if you sell the asset within one year of owning it, it is considered a short-term capital gain. Short-term capital gains are taxed at the same rate as your ordinary income. This means they could be taxed at a higher rate. The tax rate for long-term capital gains can vary based on your income bracket. The rates are typically lower than those for short-term gains. For instance, individuals in lower income brackets may pay 0% on long-term gains. And then additionally, the type of asset sold can influence the tax rate. Different assets may be subject to different rates or exemptions. For example, real estate may have special considerations, such as the exclusion of a portion of the gain if it is your primary residence. It is also important to consider state taxes. Some states impose their own capital gains taxes, which can vary widely. Always check the specific tax laws in your state for accurate information. And to accurately determine your capital gains tax liability, it is advisable to consult with a tax professional. They can provide personalized guidance based on your specific financial situation. To learn more, check out these links, which you can click in the description below. And feel free to comment your questions. We're here to help. Thanks for tuning in to our video. Please like and subscribe and leave a comment below. See you in the next video. Thank you.